Hi, I'm Lily Diaz, Dollar Product Specialist here at E&M, &M, and today I would like to speak to you about liquid level detection in a non-metal tank. So I have seen a couple of different methods that customers use to do liquid level detection, um, and they're both relatively invasive, at least into the tank. So um, a the, one of the most common methods is tapping a hole to the outside of the tank and placing an ultrasonic. That just sounds a little scary. I don't want to put a hole in anything that's supposed to keep liquid in or keep liquid out. Um, so that just is a little bit of a scary situation for anyone with a tank. Another method that I see a lot is an immersive method. So placing a sensor inside of the liquid um, to help measure its level. Um, not so good for the uh, sensor. Eventually it will deteriorate over time and you'll need to replace it. Um, but there's also the risk of contaminating the liquid itself. So being able to place something on the exterior of the tank would be ideal. I've also had some customers express a concern with their inability to really detect um, the liquid instead of foam or viscous buildup on the inside of their tank um, with a slightly more um, complex application. Um, but I'm here to show you some, uh, some sensors that will work great for you. So Balif has a line of capacitive sensors that are fantastic for level detection. So you can just mount them um, flush against the outside of a non-metal tank and these little guys can read right through it to find the level detection. Now, they do have um, a couple of different options as far as um, materials go. So this happens to be a PBT plastic. Um, this one is a stainless steel. So as you can see, they are um, some of the standard size, an M30 and an M12, um, but any size comes in these two options. Um, they're both IP67 though, so no worries about water. I'm assuming you might have a little bit of water around the tank um, for cleaning purposes. So these guys are going to um, be water resistant. Um, they also come in a PNP as well as an NPN version, um, either of which you can choose to be normally closed or normally open. Um, and they're also very um, high EMC uh, immune, noise immune. Um, so no worries about other electrical noise. So as I mentioned, they do come in the standard sizes, so all the way down to an M8, M12, M30, as I just mentioned. Um, and as you can probably assume, the smaller size is going to have a smaller sensing distance all the way up to the largest sensing distance in the M30, which will be about 25 millimeters. Um, so these are pretty good as far as sensing distance goes. They also have little um, pots on the back of these um, so that you can adjust the sensitivity just a little bit depending upon the thickness of the material as well as the liquid you're attempting to sense. So a little bit of user adjustability. Now this is a standard sensor so we're looking at some sort of liquid that's a little bit more common. Water, um, something that's not terribly viscous, that doesn't produce a lot of bubbles. Now if you're looking at something that's going to be producing a lot of foam, you're going to want the smart sensor. Now I know what you're thinking, this looks exactly like the other one I just showed you. Well it's the same form factor and the same casing, but there's a little bit of extra technology inside of here that allows it to ignore foam, viscous buildup, anything like that on the inside of the tank and just detect the um, liquid level for you. So no false triggering on the bubbles, or the viscous material, um, no need to clean the interior of the tank. You're going to reduce the amount of materials that you waste um, with the cleaning. And this guy again is IP67, um, comes in stainless or this plastic, um, and, any, and the same exact sizing, so M30, M12, M8. Um, so just to review, uh, Balif has a capacitive sensor for any level application, um, and the standards here will be used for the um, most common um, liquids, most common materials you want to be sensing, um, whereas the smart level is great for foam, bubbles, or um, any other kind of buildup. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the information I've given you today, once again, my name is Lily Diaz, and you can contact me here at ENM at my email, um, which is L I L L I E dot D E A S at E and M dot com. So, once again, I'm Lily Diaz, your Balif product specialist, signing off.